I first want to thank Cricut so much for sponsoring today's video. Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works with software called Design Space that comes free with your machine. This is where you can create your projects and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. Once you've created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. So the first thing that I am going to do today is walk you through the machine that I will be using. Today we're going to be using this beautiful teal color Cricut Explore 3. Now let's talk about the functions of this machine. On the right hand side at the top you have the power button. Right below that you have the load and unload button. Then you have the go button and right next to it you have pause. On the left hand side there's one button and that's the button to open up the machine. This machine does not have tons of bells and whistles which make it so easy to use. Right up here you have a compartment for storage and then you have these two compartments for small tools and accessories. Also you have these two tabs that you can easily pull out to replace and change out any cutting tools or pins. Very simple and easy and you just close the tabs right back. It also have this little ledge right here where you can add your phone or your tablet because yes this machine is Bluetooth compatible and you can just soft, softly close the machine. I absolutely love that it's Bluetooth compatible. So I just want to talk a little bit more about Cricut and tell you how much I absolutely love using my Cricut. There is so much inspiration out there and I have been able to create some beautiful decor for my home that I was inspired by as well as as some personalized gifts that I have been able to give to my family and friends. The Cricut is so easy to use and it is so much fun. Just being able to create different projects for different occasions and different holidays and seasons has just been so much fun. And being able to share these projects with my family and friends. And that's what I want you to be able to do. So if you have a Cricut that you just haven't got around to unboxing yet, if you are even considering purchasing a Cricut, or if you just feel like it may just be overwhelming, then I hope today's video ease your mind so you can just get started. So now let's continue on with today's video. If you are familiar with the Cricut Joy, then you know all about smart material. Cricut have this smart vinyl that you can add to your machine and you do not have to place it on a mat. It makes everything so much easier. They also have all kinds of smart materials, including this smart paper sticker cardstock. These are some beautiful colors and I am super excited to use these for some future projects that I am going to be creating for the springtime but in today's video I'm only going to be using this white smart vinyl as you can see it have the grids on the back and all you have to do is insert this into your machine Cricut has this roll holder for your smart materials. I love this accessory because it helps hold the vinyl and when it's time to cut it, you get a nice clean cut. Very easy to use. It has the little tab where you can just slide it over and cut your material. And then it has the little opening where you can place your roll of vinyl. All you have to do is place it right up next to your machine. And then you can insert your roll of vinyl. All I'm going to do is slide my end of vinyl right through the opening and push it right on the other side. And so now I'm just making sure that everything is lined up so that my material will load into my machine correctly. As you see, it has these two little grids that the material slides under. And once I get it lined up, I will show you it's the two little tabs or you want to call them grids right there. So you're going to make sure that you have your account created and your machine set up. I am using the Cricut Explorer 3, 
So mine is already set up. So I'm just going to select Cricut Explorer 3 and go to New Project. I'm going to do an image for my first project. So I'm going to come out of the text, go into image, and I'm just going to type in eat, drink, and see what comes up because I want something to create a really cute sign for the spring. So all kinds of different images are going to come up with the eat, drink, and I do see one that says eat drink and be thankful so i am going to select that one and hit next and it's going to go into the design space so now what i'm going to do is just adjust everything to the size that i want it you can adjust the size of your image right here in the design space by just pulling the cursor in and out you can also make changes to your image from the toolbar that's at the bottom. I am using my phone. If it was your tablet, it will be at the top. Now, as you can see, once I took my image off a of highlight, nothing is highlighted at the bottom, so I can't make any changes. So you wanna make sure that you keep your image highlighted and now you have access to make any changes once you click on edit you can change the size you can change the length the width the spacing you can make any adjustments to your image that you would like you can also change the color to match whatever material that you will be using I am going to select white because that is what color vinyl that I am going to be using. And then I'm just going to hit the make it button and select without matte because this is smart vinyl. So I do not need the matte. Once I am in the position where it's going to prepare to print, I can make my last adjustments. And if I do not like that, you can always go back make another adjustment and then you can hit the make it button again once you do that you're going to select without a mat again because this is smart vinyl make your last adjustments and then you're going to hit next once you got everything lined up i always try to pull my image up so that i can save as much of vinyl as i want i don't want to print too much and waste any vinyl um, now this is Bluetooth compatible so I'm going to agree to connect to Bluetooth and then all I have to do is hit the connect button. So once I hit the connect button and it prompts me to insert my material which is my permanent smart vinyl it is going to send it to my machine so that it can prepare to cut. As you can see the low button is lit up so that means it's time to go. So after I hit that button as you can see my machine is preparing to cut my project and then all I have to do is wait for or that go button to light up and then once I press it the machine is going to start cutting and as you can see it's cutting my project everything is pretty simple the machine basically tells you what to do once you get started all you basically have to do is follow the prompts so once my machine is done cutting my project as you can see the project is on white vinyl so you can't see my image real good but i'm just going to slide the tool over so that it can evenly cut it so now i'm going to get ready and weed out my material you want to make sure that you pull your vinyl up slow so you do not ruin your project and i'm just using my cricut tool to do that i did speed this video up so I am not pulling it out fast I just sped up the video to save time and now I'm just weeding out my letters as you can see it's white on white so you can't see it as well but I'm pretty much just weeding out of the extra vinyl that's in the letters and once I get that complete what I'm going to do is add it to this sign that I did pick up from my local Goodwill and it was $2.99 but I got it for 50% off and so what I'm going to do first is just remove this attachment off the top and then after I get that removed I am just going to sand over the sign some just to give it a little bit distress. I love finding signs like this in a thrift store that's just easy to redo. So once I get that complete, what I'm going to do is transfer over my image to the sign. And I'm just gonna cut me a piece of my transfer tape and I'm just cutting out 
exactly how much I need. I don't want to waste any transfer tape either. And so once I get that cut off, I'm just using this tool to help me pull the back off of my tape. And then once I get that complete, I'm just going to place the tape right over my image and use my other little Cricut tool to go over it and make sure that all of my image transfer over. Now you may have to do this a few times, just making sure that you get your image or your text onto the tape so that you can apply it to your sign. So I'm just gonna go over this until I have everything on the tape. Once I have that done, I'm just gonna take the image and I'm gonna place it right in the center on my sign. I really like this image, eat, drink, and be thankful. I think it is going to be perfect to style in my home. So I'm just gonna place that on the sign, use my tool again to go over everything and make sure that it transferred over nicely. Once that is complete, what I'm going to do is use these lavender picks that I have here. And I'm just going to take a few pieces and hot glue them down to the bottom of this sign. Now, I'm also going to take some decorative rope and create a little basic bow to hot glue right in the center. I love that I was able to find this sign in the Goodwill for less than $2 and use my Cricut to create something beautiful for my home. So now I'm just taking the rope, creating a basic bow. I'm going to clip down the rope and then what I'm going to do is just unravel the ends just to give this bow a little bit more character. And then I'm just going to take some hot glue and tack it down right in the center. And that will be it for this sign. I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it is so pretty. I love being able to find something at my local thrift store, not spend too much money on, but being able to recreate it into something beautiful that fit perfect for my home. So I'm going to go back into the design space and this time I'm going to select text. So after I click new project, instead of image, I'm going to click text. Now the first tab says Cricut. And so these are all the fonts that you can purchase or you can go to the next tab, which is system. And these are all of the free fonts. Or you can go to the last tab, which is all, and you will get free fonts as well as the Cricut fonts. I'm actually going to be using one of the free fonts so I am going to go back to system and select the font. And I'm just going to stroll through and I'm going to select the free font. And what I'm going to do is type in all of our names. I'm going to do me and my husband name as well as the two boys. So now that I typed in Romeo, I'm going to bring it down some. Now, if you wanted to change that font, you can. You can go down to the edit tab. And as you can see, I can change the font. But I am definitely going to keep the font that I selected. I just wanted to show you that in that toolbar, you can edit the text to your desired size, your spacing. You can also change the color just like I did in that image. And as you can see, you have so many options to make any changes. Also, if you went back or hit the back button by accident, you will not lose your project. When you come back, it will give you the option to replace or cancel. And I'm gonna hit cancel because I wanna keep my project. Now what I'm going to do is create a duplicate of this. So I'm going to highlight it again, because as you see, with it not being highlighted, I can't make any changes. So I'm gonna highlight it and I am going to select action so that I can just hit duplicate on this text. And as you can see, I have two of Romeo's and I'm actually going to duplicate it two more times so that I can have four texts. 
Now all I'm going to do is double click on one of his names just so I can backspace out and change it to a different name. I'm doing it this way just so I can keep the same size and keep the same font. When I typed in Romel name, I already adjusted it to the size that I wanted. So all of my names are the correct size. Once I get them all typed in, I'm going to prepare it to print. So all I have to do is hit the make it button. Once I do that, it is going to ask me to select with or without a mat. And I'm going to do without a mat because this is smart vinyl. I'm just going to adjust the names over a little bit so they won't be too close to each other and then I'm going to hit continue because I am ready to print these names so then after that as you can see I am ready to hit the continue button and then it's allowing me to connect to Bluetooth once that is done it is going to um, prompt me to insert my material which is my permanent smart material so once that is inserted and I go back to the machine as you can see it is ready to load because the button is lit up and now my material is loading and then after that it's going to have the go button light up which lets me know that the machine is preparing to cut my material and so once I get my material cut I'm just gonna weed out my letters now I did speed this part up so once again you want to make sure that you're pulling your vinyl up slow so you will not ruin any of your project now I'm just going to continue weeding out my letters it's white on white so you really can't see it good now I have these coasters that I picked up from my local Goodwill they were $2.99 but I thought they were so pretty I already have transferred three of my names over to the coasters and I'm just showing you how I did it by doing my last one I'm just going over my transfer tape to make sure that my my name goes over perfectly and then I'm going to place it right on the ground part of these coasters I thought these coasters were so pretty I don't know if you can see on the white part that they look marble but I thought it was perfect to have these personalized coasters for my home and you can go over them with some Mod Podge to make sure that everything is protected I like finding nice thrift items that I can purchase for a few bucks, bring home, change them up to fit my decor and create something beautiful. I absolutely love that these are personalized. We have made it. We have made it through the video. I hope you learned something today. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would absolutely love to have you here. As always, let me know in the comment section below any questions or anything that you may have. If it's something that I do not know, I will definitely find out for you. You did not have to get everything in this one video. Trust me, there's more videos to come. So I hope that I can be of any help to you. Thank you all for tuning in. In the description box below, I'm going to have all of Cricut's information. So you will just be one click away. Until next time, my friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.